Hi, this is Jody Rowe and Diane Smith, and today we will be exploring how to climb up to the next level in Nearpod. Nearpod is a website and an app that can be used to help you integrate interactive activities within various types of slide decks and other platforms. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with climbing up to the next level in Nearpod is an app and a website, and there's also a Google add-on that allows you to add interactive activities within Google Slides, PowerPoint, or even straight from the Nearpod website. Some of the features that we're going to focus on today are a few of those specific interactive activities including the matching pairs, fill in the blank, and the time to climb activity. So as we move through these, there are a variety of interactive features that are included with Nearpod, um, some of which include open-ended questions, quizzes, you can include Flipgrid links, a draw it board, a collaborate board, a poll, and a memory test. But the three that we are gonna focus specifically on today are the matching pairs, the fill in the blank, and time to climb. With the matching pairs activity, this allows students to match text to images, text to text, or image to image. It can be used in a student paced or live session of Nearpod. A correct match will turn green and an incorrect match turns red for a short period of time and then returns to normal. A timer can also be added if you choose. Here are some examples of different things you could use the matching pairs for. Graphs could be matched to equations, words for foreign language to images, states and capitals, artists with artwork, and so many more. And this is very helpful because of the fact that you can use text and images or what both or one of the other. With the matching pairs, you can choose an already created Nearpod matching pair lesson. You can also choose it and then modify it or you can create your own. And again, you can use pictures or text or both. If you choose pictures, you will have the option to search Google for an image directly from Nearpod, or you can upload an image of your choice. With the fill in the blank option, this is a drag and drop activity that allows students to complete a passage and populate blanks with words. As a teacher, you will be able to choose the words that you want omitted. And this again can be used in a student paced or live session. This does not have a timer setting on it as an option. Here are some examples of what some of this looks like as you create it. On the top right, as the teacher, you would be able to choose some of the fonts and colors you would like, and you can enter your text. And then as you progress through setting this up, you will click on the words or items that you want omitted that then the student, as you can see from the bottom picture on the right, can drag and drop. You could even omit certain um, numbers and equations and things like that as well. You can either copy and paste text or you can type text onto the slide when you do this. Time to Climb is a multiple choice quiz game and students can actually choose their characters and compete against one another. You as the teacher get to choose a theme and they sometimes have holiday themes along with the normal ones that they include at all times. This again can be used in a student paced or live session. And as of right now, the game can only be played once per lesson or session. So if you have a student who played it once, they cannot go back in that same session and redo it. You would have to start a new session and have them do it again. With Time to Climb, you will again have the option to choose an already created Nearpod Time to Climb. You can also choose one and then modify it, or you can create your own. In Google Slides, you will be able to do these things from the add-on of Nearpod. So if you go to add-ons, I already have it. If you do not, you can click get add-ons and then search for Nearpod and add this to your list. And then it will always be there. And you can open that Nearpod add-on up within Google Slides. And it may have you log in. Um, even if you are already logged into your Google account, it just often has you do this and lets Nearpod access your Google account. But it will pop up this um, Nearpod setup here on the right side of your screen. And when this is there, it will allow you to choose all of these various interactive options and some other ones as well. So if I wanted to add in a slide with fill in the blanks, I would click that and I would go through the steps that we mentioned before. With the matching pairs, 
same thing. I could click that. It will enter a slide for that, and I will be able to do that. Or for the time to climb, I again could enter that as well, and I can either search their options or make my own. So I'm going to pick one just to try out of those three. I'm going to click matching pairs. And then for any of those choices, it will come up to add and edit things. So a couple things with the matching pairs and the time to climb to the right side here, I can search the Nearpod library and use any of theirs or use them and modify them. Or I can start from scratch and create my own. So I'm just going to pick a topic and see if they have anything listed on it. And I could also filter. So some of these um, social studies things must include music. And so that may not be what I want for right now. We're going to use that, though. And as I open this, it's telling this is already created that I would be matching these items. If I wanted to uh, edit any of these, I could click on one and I could choose to delete it if I did not want that there. And I also could come down and add more if I wanted. But when I'm finished, I would hit save. And then when the students go through the lesson, they would have a screen with all these cards and they would have to click and match which word went with which picture. So on my end, it will look like this from the teacher perspective. But when they go through the lesson, the cards would come up and they would actually click to match each thing, um, matching sentence or title or wording with the picture that goes with it. If you choose time to climb, same thing, you would be able to choose from some of their options in Nearpod and edit, or you can leave their options alone, or you can create your own. So again, I can explore the library over here. I'm just going to this time type in computer science and see what options they have. I could use the filter button as well if I wanted to choose a specific grade. And then I can pick from here. I'm just going to pick one so we can see. And so it shows me the questions that they have. Again, I could add answers. I could add a question. I can delete them or I can leave it alone. And then when the students go through this lesson, uh, it will prompt them to play the game where they are answering and actually competing one another, with one another. And they do get points based upon correct answers and also the speed at which they answer. If I enter the fill in the blank option, same type thing, it will make a new slide. And I can again copy and paste text or I can just type something in. So I'm going to put February includes the holiday called Valentine's Day. And I can again change the colors and fonts. Some of these are a little harder to read, so you may want to stick with something that's a little easier to read. I hit next. And then I can click on the words that I want left out. So maybe I want this left out so that they figure out which holiday. And they would then be prompted when they do this to drag and drop that word. And also I could maybe include different other words I could leave out. And they would have to drag and drop those in to that as well on their end when they go through the lesson. So as you can see, there are many options for interactive things to be added into a slide deck um, and you can again add them in with a PowerPoint as well or create from the Nearpod library but this add-on with Google Slides is very helpful but the ones we focused today again on were matching pairs fill in the blanks and time to climb and I would highly re recommend any of those if you want to make your lesson more interactive and engaging um, and very simple for you to set up at the same time thanks for watching be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources and see what else is going on in Ori County Schools. Be sure to follow at Dear Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.